Can't believe we're already on week six of seven things we can do. I hope through the past five weeks that uh, maybe one of those, two of those has really stuck out to you. I know that trying to do seven new things uh, is, is a lot. And so don't don't stress out about trying, oh, I've got to do all these things. Or, uh, you know, maybe God spoke to you uh, during one of these weeks and really said, hey, this is the one for you. And so I hope that you've been trying to work on that and not uh, try to get too overwhelmed. So as we start week six, very good timing here. It's almost like somebody planned this. We're going to be looking at Holy Week, and we've got Palm Sunday coming up. So uh, as we get ready for Palm Sunday, I hope you'll read the stories in uh, the Gospel of Mark for Holy Week. Uh, we've got Jesus coming to Jerusalem and then his uh, cleaning the temple, interacting with the Pharisees, just a lot going on with the disciples. And, and then, of course, uh, at the end of the week, the crucifixion. And so this has been a tough one to single out one thing uh, from this uh, set of uh, chapters that we can do. Um, it, it's been uh, eye-opening in some sense. There's some things we can't do. That's This is the gospel. We cannot ride into Jerusalem as the conquering king. That's not our job. We can't do it. We cannot die on a cross to save other people. Not our job. Can't do it. Can't even save ourselves. We need Jesus for that. So as we look at this week, um, I started off, there, there's some easy, low-hanging fruit. There's some cliche stuff. I thought, okay, Jesus says, you know, basically come to church, pray, pray at the temple. Um, of course, those are things we can do. Um, we, we, we know that we've always been able, well, we haven't always been able to go to church, but we've always been able to pray and, and be with Jesus. And so uh, this, this week was a little tougher for me. And then I, I, I think was given something that I, that I wouldn't have picked on my own. And that is the sixth thing we can do is submit. And I wouldn't have picked that on my own because submitting is not something I personally am very fond of doing. It's just one of those words when you say you need to submit. Most of us, I think, maybe it's just me, put it in the comments. Hey, man, you're a weirdo. It's just you. The rest of us don't have a problem with submitting. But when I hear that word, I, I just, it, I don't want to submit. But I see that Jesus in this story a couple of times submitted, and he's the son of man, the son of God. I see him in the garden of, uh, in the Mount of Olives, on the Mount of Olives praying um, and, and submitting, not my will be done, but thy will be done. And that's, that's easier for me to swallow, to say, okay, I, I, can, I can see that, Jesus, you're submitting to God, the Father, you're submitting to his eternal plan for salvation. I don't think Jesus was happy about it. He was sweating blood. He was so uh, stressed out about it, but he was willing to do it. He was willing to submit. But then we see Jesus submitting at another time that is it's even more difficult. And that's when he was submitting to the Pharisees and the Sadducees and during the trial and even on the cross. Uh, you know, like he, like he said, he could have called down legions of angels, wiped them all out, he didn't have to put up with that, but he submitted himself to them and, and submitted himself to the cross. And, uh, you know, as I thought about that, it, it's tough. I, I, I often will have said, um, it, you know, as Christians, we're not called to be doormats. You know, we're called to forgive. We're called to love our neighbors. Um, we're called to love our enemies, to pray for our enemies. Um, some very difficult things that we're called to do as Christians that don't come naturally to us, or again, maybe just don't come naturally to me, uh, but to see Jesus submit and ask us to do those things and for us to do those things. Now, right away, I want to say it does not mean we're called to be doormats. It does not mean we're called to let people walk all over us and just get away with anything. I think there are times, and Jesus did stand up to the Pharisees plenty of times. During Holy Week, they were trying to trap him and question him, and uh, he, he gave it right back to them, and he gave them some pretty good answers and, and put them in their place a couple of times. But here's what Jesus was doing. He wasn't really submitting to the Pharisees. He was submitting to the Father. He was submitting to the plans of the Father, and, um, and, and, and that looked like him submitting to the Pharisees. And I think sometimes uh, maybe it feels like we're submitting to people. Uh, when we're forgiving people who we don't think deserve it, but we're not. We're submitting to the call of God to forgive others 
We're not submitting to them. We're not saying what they did is okay. Uh, we're not saying that we like it or we have to be friends with them. We're saying because Christ forgave me, because God forgave me in Christ, I'm going to submit to God and I'm going to forgive these people, even though I don't think they deserve it, even though they didn't ask for forgiveness, even though they aren't repentant, even though they would probably do it again in a heartbeat. I'm going to forgive them. I'm going to pray for them because I'm submitting to the will of God. And so as, as we get put in those difficult places, maybe we have to submit to people that we don't think we should have to submit to. Remember, ultimately, you're submitting to God. You're doing what God has called you to do because he's God, but he's also truth and life. His ways are higher than our ways. He is higher than us. He knows what he's doing. It doesn't always feel right. It doesn't always feel good. But I don't like to submit. I don't even like to think of submitting. It's just the word itself, but I know we're called to submit to God. And I know there's plenty of things that God calls us to do that we, we do because he is God. And we have said, hey, I am your follower. I'm going to submit to you. And again, I think this one was given to me because I wouldn't have picked it on my own. The sixth thing that we can do, submission. Not always popular, but we see Jesus leading by example and saying, I'm going to submit my life to the Father. I'm going to do what he's calling me to do. And the big question for us is, where is he calling us to submit? Where is submission maybe lacking in our lives? There are plenty of places I can think of in my own. Maybe not something you want to share in the comments. That's fine. Totally understand. Maybe there are some things you are willing to share in the comments. I know this is a tough one, um, but but I, I think it's honest. You know, be honest and say, hey, I don't I don't want to submit or whatever. And share your stories, your challenges. Um, again, maybe maybe some of these are a little too personal to, to share all the gory details with us all. But um, I'd I'd love to hear um, your thoughts on this. Am I the only one who has a problem? Am I, am I just too proudful and need, need to submit more? That's fine. Call me out. But uh, let's let's talk about it. Comment on it. And um, I look forward, as always, to hearing what you say. Thanks.